Hey guys, Bill here with Into Mobile. We're taking a look at Flash Player 10.2, Adobe's new Flash Player 10.2 for uh, Android uh, 2.2 Froyo, as well as Android 2.3 Gingerbread phones, but also for Android Honeycomb tablets like, let's say, this Motorola Zoom right here. So this is the Motorola Zoom. We got the, you know, the Google branding, the Verizon branding, of course, because it's on Verizon, the Motorola with the... Uh, metallic unibody uh, casing back there, the camera back here, and the uh, big uh, HD uh, HD resolution widescreen format, the 16 by 9, 16 to 9 aspect ratio widescreen 10.1 uh, inch display here. But so, okay, we got uh, Adobe Flash Player 10.2 loaded up on this guy. What I wanted to show you was, check this out, we're looking at Intu Mobile, right? And we are actually, let's load the latest version of Intu Mobile. And you can see the uh, the flash already loading right here, but I want to show you how Into Mobile loads with the flash elements in place and with scrolling in place. Because uh, Flash Player 10.2, oop, there goes the ad. Flash Player Player 10.2 actually, oh, there's the ad right there. Um, actually has some improvements over 10.1 in that the code actually is parsed and rendered as part of the page. So these flash elements you see right here, like this flash ad right here, which is about to pop up once it loads. Uh, see, there you go, you have the animation and the loading. Um, initially, the flash performance on the tablet, on the zoom, on Honeycomb, is still a little jerky in the beginning, but once it fully loads up, it gets a little better, as you can see here. And as you can see, scrolling is really good, right? Maybe in the initial uh, flick for your scroll might take a little time to catch up, but once everything is fully loaded, scrolling is really responsive. And check out, notice this is this entire thing is a is a flash is a flash element. This entire ad right here is a flash element. And notice when I scroll, it scrolls with the page. There's no uh, the the it doesn't uh, the flash element doesn't have to catch up to the scrolling because it's not overlaid on top of the page. It's actually being rendered as part of the page. So the data is part of the page. To show you more how that works, let's check out maybe say like Oakley. Okay, loading, 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 and bam. Okay, so we're loaded up, right? This entire page, almost the entire, well, the biggest element on the page is actually going to be Flash. This is all Flash right here, and it's fully interactive. It's loaded up in that time. Like I said, it does lag a little bit in the beginning, but once it's loaded up, it does work really well. So we have this interactive Flash element here. We have the goggles, we have the cases, right? We can go to the sunglasses to see what their latest lineup is, but also up here you have this interactive uh, flash uh, element right here. I don't know what it does exactly, but maybe if we hit sunglass cases right there, it'll change it up. Or maybe not. Um, so this is also Google Finance, and you can see that there, there are a lot of flash elements. That was a flash element, but what else is cool is that these that you, can, you have these interactive um, flash elements to, uh, for checking out your stocks. This is google.com slash finance, and as you can see, I can if I, if I want to interact with an element, I'm going to tap on it. And uh, let's see if I can drag, yep, I can start dragging that, I can start dragging that over this way. It does take a little time, see it's still going towards the right, even though I want it to go towards the left. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag there, right? This is this is still beta for Honeycomb because Honeycomb still uh, requires some code tweaking to make every, all these uh, hardware acceleration features work right. You see I was dragging it to the left a little while ago and now it's only registering my, my drag. That is because this is beta. This is still technically beta software. So that, that's not such a good demo, but you can see that for the most part it does work well. News.bbc.co.uk. Let's check out some videos in here, some embedded videos as well as full, as full screen videos, which is... Uh... And there we go, load it up. We have the live video we're gonna we're gonna just go into the video right here and as you can see it's loading the video in the page and scrolling does take a little bit so it's all right there and if I want to go full screen I'm just gonna tap it Oops, that taps right onto the ad, doesn't it? I'm uh, fully interacting with that video. I want it to go full screen. I'm just going to tap that full screen and go full screen. So that's a quick little look at Flash 10.2, Flash Player 10.2 for Honeycomb.